Everyone, Logan here, creator of Soundstage. Thank you so much for your support this year. I really appreciate it. I just released the fifth and final update of this year. We'll be back more next year with functional updates such as MIDI, quantization, multi-track recording, but this final update for 2016 is a holiday update. Let's check it out. In the menu, it's a seasonal option. You now have a holiday mode. Let's enable it. Oh my goodness. So you got snow above you. You have a new environment around you with trees. And I try to put two trees within range of even a standing room space so that you can decorate them with different instruments. So we can decorate this tree, say with oscillators and give it a little, uh, oh, the drums have candy canes now. So when you're in holiday mode, you can drum with candy canes. I keep grabbing the drum, but what I really want is a speaker because that seems like the right thing for a star. And all the wires are also modified when you're in holiday mode. They now all look like Christmas tree lights. So you can wrap your tree, Christmas tree lights, and plug it in, and there you go. That's holiday mode. Oh, and also, you can look at yourself with a, with a Santa hat. And new, if you haven't used it for a little bit, is when you pull out a camera, it automatically turns in your broadcast camera. And again, because you're looking at this from the desktop, I just realized you probably are seeing me through the camera. So hi, this is me. I now have a Santa hat. And if I shut off uh, holiday mode, it all goes back to normal. I lose my hat. Of course, still have my sweet shades. My drums look like normal drums. And my wires go back to normal wires. But if I want to change my mind, let's turn back on holiday mode. We're back to holiday mode. It's always here for you, at least until the season's over. There's also some non-seasonal updates. We have a new control scheme. The trigger is still the trigger, but the touchpad is no longer for the menu. The menu is that little button above the touchpad. And the touchpad will be for contextual actions. If you hold down this bottom half right now, it'll just show you help, let go to remove the help. And if you have an item out, say this oscillator, you'll see when you touch it, you get a second button here, which is copy. So it's no longer squeezing the controller. It's holding down that top touchpad. If you're using a touch controller, the trigger is the trigger, and the two face buttons, one of them is the menu, and one of them is help slash copy. The graphics in the application say which is which. So the keyboard is now a monophonic synthesizer, which means you can only play one note at a time, which I think makes it sound a lot cleaner. It also enables us to use this keyboard as a controller for other instruments. On the back of this keyboard now, we have amplitude and frequency out, so we can plug those into our oscillator and use this keyboard to control external oscillators. So I change this. Oh, and you have a mute button so you can get rid of the, the bass keyboard. So now, now it's just this oscillator playing. I've also made some changes to the Xyla roll here. The arpeggiator is a lot cleaner. You can hide it with this button here. In addition to the, the order controls, like going up versus down. You can also control the speed. It's no longer slider. It's actually tied to the master clock, so it will always stay in time with your sequencers or your Xylero sequencer. So let's shut off this arpeggiator. So the sequencer has now been modified so that when you press play, it doesn't move, so you can more easily modify it while it's playing. And you still have the slider. You can speed it up. And rather than a weird little interface over here, now if you want to add more, just go to this little plus sign and you can see how many rows you have and just drag it up or drag it down. But again, this will stay static so it's not flying all over the place. So I can drag this up and then I can grab this to scroll around. Some folks were having trouble with the glow settings, so now there's visual settings and you still have access to the wire types, but now you can control the glow level. And it only controls the glow level inside the HMD, and I'm controlling this from the desktop, so, or you're seeing this from the desktop, so the glow level won't change for you. Just take my word for it, the glow level does change when you're inside the headset, but all your spectators won't see the change. It's just for eye comfort on the inside. There you go, that's our last update for the year. We'll be back in January with more. If you're enjoying SoundStage, please leave a review. It's really the only way users find SoundStage is through Steam reviews. So please leave a review. I'd really appreciate it. And have a happy holiday season.